One of the most unlikely hits in rock and roll history has a cast of equally unlikely characters. To call the story of Hanky Panky a miracle would be wrong. It took a series of miracles, starting with the unique Pittsburgh dance club scene in the mid-60s. But history will never know who started it all. Well, that's the first miracle. There was a graduate student, I believe, from uh, Notre Dame, 10 miles south of Niles, Michigan, where Jeff Deffenbaugh recorded uh, Tommy and the Shondells, Hanky Panky. That's Bob Mack. He and Mad Mike Metrovich bought old record collections looking for a needle in a haystack hit that would propel teens onto the dance floor. He didn't just do one place, he had multiple in, in different parts of the city, in McKeesport, in uh, the south and north, east and west. So he had these dances going on. He came in with a collection of records and there were some copies of Hanky Panky. The record our unknown hero unloaded was a cover of a song by The Raindrops. Except that the Shondells had mangled both the lyrics and the melody. Still, Bob Mack heard something. This one, well, Hanky Panky obviously, had a catchy lyric to it, my baby, well, you know it, and, uh, and a heavy backbeat. And, uh, but there was a big problem, the, the tempo. I got up to about 48, 49 RPM, and the beat was perfect. The Hanky Panky exploded in Bob Mack's 14 clubs and then onto Pittsburgh radio. Mack went to Michigan to bring the Shondells to Pittsburgh, but all he found was the lead singer, Thomas Jackson. His response, of course, was, well, there's no Shondells. One's in Vietnam, one. I said, well, let me, have, let me understand it. You're the front man, you're the singer. I said, you're the show. I said, put a band together. On the way back to Pittsburgh, Bob Mack told Tommy Jackson, If this thing explodes nationally, you could be a legend like, uh, like Jesse James. And then I thought, you know, that sounds great. How about you're the important part of the group. How about you'll be Tommy James and the Shondells? And that's how that happened. Now all Tommy James needed were some Shondells. A year ahead of me were these guys, music majors, some of them, who were the Rat Contours. Up in Greensburg, the Rat Contours were a big blue-eyed soul band. And that was the next miracle. Matt got Tommy James and the Rat Contours, Mike Vale, Ron Rossman, Eddie Gray, and Peter Lucia together. It took about two seconds once Tommy heard the group. They became the Shondells. Just how good were the new Shondells? When I found them and Tommy went out and, and heard them, it, it was like getting the Shondells in a box. I mean, it was ready to go. The first Tommy James and the Shondells album came out, it was Hanky Panky and the Rat Contour set list. Every other song on there was a Rat Contour song. I don't know if Tommy would have had a future without them. They were that good. Tommy, James, and the Shondells went on to have two Billboard number one hits, six top 10 and 14 top 40 hits. Tommy James turned out to be a great singer, a great performer, a writer, a producer, and I'll tell you the truth, a pretty sharp businessman, yeah. Congratulations to Tommy James and the Shondells, the 2017 Pittsburgh Rock and Roll Modern Era Legends. I salute Tommy James, a great talent. Hi everyone, Tommy James here, and I just wanna say thanks so very much for the wonderful Rock and Roll Legends Award, and I'm so very flattered and honored. I've truly been blessed by the city and people of Pittsburgh in so many ways from launching my career, my first manager, a new group, and even my wonderful wife, Linda. I'm very sorry I can't be there with you to celebrate and thank you personally, but I want you to know how very much this means to me. God bless you all, and thanks again, Pittsburgh.